Oh boy. Well, probably be patient for a minute and see what they want to do. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. No, I have not stopped doing the yo because the last time I asked if you guys liked it, y'all said yes, don't stop. So we're not stopping it. But welcome back to another one, uh, solo snow goose hunt. I am going to have to make it extremely quick here in the intro. So first of all, I wanna say big ups to duckswaterfowl.com for sponsoring this here video. All of their white gear, yes, it's available. And the new snow, let me get it right. The new snow camo hat, patch hat from ducks is available. I will link all the white snow goose hunting products uh, from ducks down in the top of the description below Go pick this bad boy up before she's gone. Y'all know how fast these hot items like this go But long story short My area we are the ice line and uh, long story short again. Uh, there's a lot of older birds adults uh, Tons of snow geese a lot of lessers and specks still bound up right here and we are in the second Yes, second day of conservation season wasn't able to hunt yesterday scouted my butt off literally all morning i got on like three fields and this one here i'm like you know what it's actually right now it's pretty late i'm, I'm wishing i would have got out there a lot earlier i'm hoping that the geese aren't in the field right now but if they are we're just going to do a big sand and get sat down real quick and do a solo hunt not taking fred it's only 10 degrees out but the sun's out it really don't feel that bad if you're out of the wind so going this late, I'm kind of just like, I don't want to be out there sitting by myself in this stuff for, you know, an extended long period of time. So just a couple hours is plenty. So going late may not, may not be a big deal. It may actually be okay. I'm just looking to shoot a few, uh, not kill everything, you know, uh, just hoping to kill a few and get out there and see uh, how vulnerable these snows are. I am taking, let's go ahead and shut off the lights here. I am taking along only, I have right at 40 decoys. 40 full body snow decoys. Now, I have to use full bodies because number one, the ground, you can't get any stake. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you want something on a stake, it's gotta be on a round base. So it just sits on the top of the, uh, of the snow because you can't get anything into the ground. So dive bomb socks, silos, Literally, it'd take me forever. I'm just gonna chuck these out of the back of the truck when we get into the field. I'm using no stakes. I'm putting them on their belly. Low, uh, low, low volume e collar. That's what we're doing. <sighs> Got to get wild sometimes. Smash the thumbs up button if you all like these old videos like this. I told y'all we're gonna get after it. I gotta shut up. Let's go. Look, I'm telling you, 40. That's all that's in there. 40, not 40 dozen. Just. 40 snow goose full bodies and we're gonna put them right on their belly let's go so remember me just saying a minute ago i don't want to be out here very long because of the temperatures right now it's seven degrees uh the real fill wind chill is negative eight negative negative five sorry <laughs> so long story short i'm getting ready to pull up to the field um these geese might be in the field which if they are we may not be able to hunt it um if they're in the field they're probably not going to bump around much if they're not there we we're going to be able to go in and set up and uh, hope that they all return uh, but we're getting ready around the corner and i'm going to find out really quickly the thing is is if they're in the field i could probably pull in just far enough at the opposite end of the field because that's where I'm actually going to hunt anyways pretty much the opposite end and I could probably get in there set up pull the truck out and everything and not, probably not spook them at all maybe that's the gig maybe that's what we do heck maybe we don't even pull the I don't know we're going to see here well they're in there <laughs> Quite a few of them, actually. I don't know if my 40 decoys is gonna do much. I'm gonna try to drive in on the back side of them and try to get over to the, the side of the field that they're preferring because this west side is where I was 
actually going to go over here. Uh huh. But they're all preferring the east side. So that tells me to go downwind. See if I can sneak around them. There's a uh, there's a side road that goes in next to the field that I use all the time for this field. You can actually use it, get around there. I uh, don't have to pull the truck into the field. That'll be nice. Just gonna try to be sneaky. Check it out. So they're on this half of the field, right? We can go to the tree row over there, way over there, but hunt the north half. Try to pull them over to us. 40 decoys versus 2,000 snow geese. <laughs> we got an e-collar though, dang it. And these birds could be very vulnerable. Again, I don't care what we kill, but I'm gonna go ahead and get set up here and flip. Probably the GoPro on, have to leave this big camera in my truck. Probably gonna flip the GoPro on and we're gonna just uh, run and gun, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get something down, come on. Smash that thumbs up for you, boy. <laughs> Give me some good luck, cause it's cold. It's real cold. Well, parking the truck. I didn't even get the decoy set up. I literally just chucked them out of the bed of the truck. They're literally laying on their sides, upside down. So we're gonna, uh, as you can tell, check it out. Birds are flying out of the field right now. I didn't spook them up or anything. Uh, I got out of the field and uh, they were good to go. They didn't bump or anything. Now it's about 15 minutes later, they're starting to move around. It might be a good thing. So I'm gonna throw you on the head. We're gonna set these decoys upright, throw out the e-collar and go. Oh, I am next to this little evergreen. Got my bucket, got my remote for my e-collar. My gun, I only got three shells in it so far. I better keep loading up. These birds are, I don't know if you can see them up there. They're getting out of the field and they're coming over me. Um, I'm debating on taking a few shots here before I go set the decoys upright and everything. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I might have to. I really want the e-collar out right now. It looks like some of them might come right over the top of me. I think if I run out there and mess with the e-collar or anything, actually, I'm just gonna turn it on right here. Feeders. We're gonna sit that speaker out there like that. That should be on. Try to reboot it here or something. Come on. Oh, that's why, Bob. My goodness, you don't even have the battery plugged in. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a goofball. I've, this is the first time I'm ever using this new e collar Now we're going. Oh, I'm not used to it at all. Excuse me, guys, but uh, I might be a beginner out here, you know. Okay, now we got her going. Come on, give me that sound. There it is. Turn it down. Alright, we just turned it on. Oh, here comes two. Thing is, guys, these birds, it being so cold, they shouldn't be very smart. Oh, here comes a flock. Maybe. Still have to stand the decoys up. crazy idea Bob what are you doing oh goodness stand them up who knows if it'll work <laughs> if y'all want to see entertainment oh boy <laughs> Bobby is at it again good night I'm one squirrely you know what oh Put the spread as big as I can with only 40 decoys. 
Just try it. What else is the guy gonna do? You cannot get stakes, socks, nothing in the ground. So, might as well give her a go, huh? All right, we're almost there. It's actually 40 decoys without stakes. It's actually more work than you'd think. My goodness. I'm gonna have to pick a different track for that e-collar because it sounds like a really, really big flock. Way bigger than what my decoys are. A lot of them, uh, a lot of the white left, but now a lot, it's just coming back in small groups. Maybe that's a good deal. That's what I got going on. I got my bucket. It's not gonna move. I got the shade of this evergreen sitting completely under it. Got something in front to block me a little bit. Nothing special at all. Nothing special at all, but come on now. I'm, I'm done. Next time I turn on the camera will be to shoot. Hopefully. <laughs> Come on, come over the top. Oh, we got some coming right at us, boys. Oh, look up top. Big group. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, look at this group coming right at us. Oh! Oh, goodness. Look at this. Right here. I'm going. Go down. <laughs> well, that darn sure didn't work, Bob. Good sky bust, and that was a good 45 yard shot. Not even one. Well, now all the geese are up out of the field. This might get interesting. I am a horrible shot, obviously. Wow. Wow, Bob. I wasted one of my opportunities. That's one thing about these solo hunts that you don't not good to do don't waste an opportunity dad coming I don't understand all right let's see what happens here this could get crazy there is a ton of birds coming at us now Alrighty, I'm just gonna keep rolling here can't believe that Bobby guy what are you doing that's not an that's not a hard shot look at all these birds Oh boy. Well, probably be patient for a minute and see what they want to do. This is beautiful. This is why it's worth it to get out here on these solo hunts. Uh, here's a group of four coming at us again. Another thing about this field, guys, you gotta be choosy with your shots. There's a lot of Canada's and stuff, so you gotta be very choosy. That's why I am on a solo hunt. I'm the only one to blame if something goes wrong. And uh, I always preach, be smart about it. Don't take a shot if it's sketchy. Take um, planned shots, you know, especially when there's the dark geese involved and they're around. This might get crazy. This might get crazy. Come on, give me a good group. And I have to shoot good. Oh, there's a single coming right at us. It's a beauty too. Come on, come on, give me a shot. Yeah! yeah he's down. Yes! He came right over the top. We're gonna get him, get sat back down. Now I'm kinda kicking myself in the butt. I could have brought Frederick. Alright! There he is, look at that. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, a little Rossi. He got it good. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, yes! That was awesome. That was a perfect shot, too. He just came right over the decoys. Being greedy with the shots, it worked single boom one shot that's what's up 
Come on, y'all. Smash that thumbs up button. You can do it. We're in it. Skunks out of the boat. If hey, I mean, I'm happy with that. But we're gonna sit a little longer, see if we can scratch a few more. So one thing I did, that flock, the whole field was up. And they didn't know where to go. They'd come and check me out from real high and I turned turn the e-collar down when they were above me and then they'd swing out and I'd turn it back up. Finally, they took one last pass over the field and I cranked it up. These lessers are eating it up. I've had two lesser Canada's land in the decoys. They love that the seed collar. But uh turned it up, got like 10 of them at their attention. And when they turned towards me, I turned it back down to like five or six on the on the Fox Pro. And that single just all the way. These solo hunts will teach you a thing or two. They'll give you some time to think. They're rewarding, man. They're fun. I I I uh, urge everybody to get out there and try them, just not on water. Stay off water when it's this cold, y'all. I've been trying to preach with this Arctic blast being here. Stay off water, stay out of the boats for right now, y'all. I don't want any of my subscribers or any of my fellow waterfowlers or outdoorsmen losing their life or losing a dog or something. Keep the dogs out of the water as well. They will not survive. Still seeing some, some geese up. Um, I'm gonna fix the spread while I have a chance here. This is what I got going on. Got my Rossi out here, covering up my e-collar. Two speakers pointed away from me. And I got the decoys just set really, 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 really big. You know, spaced out. Oh, look at this group. Probably been another 10 minutes. Uh, not really getting cold yet, but what I'm gonna do is all of them that are close to, closest to me, I'm gonna push them out a little farther. I'm gonna make a little ball of them too. Some of them that are really close together. Just try to make it look natural. I'll show you when I'm done. So a lot of the birds are facing into the wind and laying down on their bellies. So a little group like that. I'll take some more, put around them. Just trying to make it real. That's all. Trying a little trick. Don't know if it'll help, but I'm taking the snow in a few spots. I'm moving the snow. I'm putting a snow white decoy on the dark spot. So it looks like they've melted it down. I never know it could help. Put him right there. That's what I got going on. Check this one out. That looks pretty realistic to me. Oh, come over the top. Come here. Oh, come back, you snow. Oh, no. I should have shot him. No. Oh. Darn it, he was stalled up right above the trees. Darn it. <laughs> Two honkers. Those are definitely honkers. Small honkers, not real big ones. They're gonna land. As I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit out here. I've been out right now. It's right at six o'clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 to the edge of my decoys. A lot of you have been asking, Bobby, how far do you put out them decoys? I usually put them out. Every bit of 20 yards to the edge of them. Again, 40 decoy. Uh, snow goose, solo. It was definitely a challenge. I should have taken that last shot. I should have. Darn it. I told myself too, I'm like, you know what? Whatever shot you get, you just gotta take it. You know? 
I messed up. I could have had one more on the ground. I, I, I'm pretty sure I could have, but good little solo hunt. That's about how they go. Um, very, very fortunate to have one on the ground. Very adult uh, Rossi snow goose. Just a beauty. Um, I'm going to pull the truck in. I'm going to get the decoys in the bed of the truck. I am literally on my third GoPro battery, and I've been out here for two hours. I can't keep them warm. I stuff them down in my... Uh, and my bibs and everything and we're on the third one so can't feel my hands let's get out of here <laughs> ah, that's the only thing i've been having issues with is my hands i got a bunch of different hand warmers but man i was in a rush today to get out here because i found the field the farmer gave me permission i'm like you know what i got a little bit of time left let's go do a uh, solo hunt but I want you guys to know a lot of snow goose hunting to come, more solo hunts, uh, two man hunts, small, small, you know, two, three, four man hunts at most. Uh, I think we're gonna be using a lot of full bodies this year. Putting the A-frame out. Uh, for the next week, it's gonna be really cold still. So I would uh, not suggest all you guys laying out on the snow during this very, very cold, cold period gets a little dangerous uh, right now let's see what the weather is now right now it is seven still feels like negative five probably explains why I was only I could only last for an hour and 50 minutes I got great gear great gloves my hands when they go it's like everything else is right behind it Oof. We are back home. Oh, and thank goodness. It's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. <laughs> oh my goodness. And look who we have here. Sit down. Sit. Oh, he wants a love and look at him. Uh-huh. You're a good boy. You want to go snow goose hunting, Frederick? Of course Frederick wants to go snow goose hunting. I've been meaning to tell you guys. Fred has his own Instagram now, Fred the Duck Dog. Oh yeah, give him a follow. It's actually all Fred for the content and Beth putting funny, funny, funny descriptions to these photos. You gotta go look at it, it's hilarious. But Fred's ready to go. I need to get him a white vest. That's what we need to do. Uh, today was just a little cold for him. I mean, let's be honest. I knew I was going to last about two hours, and I knew that I was going to be getting cold. Not being in an A-frame, uh, it really, really hurts real quickly. But, doing a hunt tomorrow with buddy heaters, A-frames, full bodies yet again. Probably a lot more Canada Goose decoys, and uh, probably only two or three of us. So, be looking out. The small hunts, they're all back, and they're fun. Let's look at our bird. I didn't get to notice it earlier, but check this out. He's got a really, really cool wart on him. Rossies are known for warting up really, really bad like this. And he's just got that unicorn wart on him. How cool, man. Such a good looking bird. I wanted to show you guys something else. These birds are sitting in the field so much during the day. And birds are, you know, tornado on above him, landing beside him, landing on him. Look at all the goose poop that he's got on his back. It's literally everywhere. Just goes to show with this cold, uh, these birds are staying in the field so much more to survive. And uh, just seeing the poop on his back, it's like, that's uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy what this cold's doing to the birds. And uh, pretty crazy to think how long it's been since it's been this cold. It is cold, y'all. But, so a hunt. Good looking, Rossi, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I like it. I might, I might put that one on the wall, to be honest with you, just because it was a solo hunt. He's got a nice ward on him. I'm thinking a dead mount with the blue that I just shot. I will do a video over that, but I think we're gonna keep him. I have a, uh, a blue interphase 
that is beautiful and i think that they'll go good together i'm doing it but guys be again i'm going to stress it be careful out there temperatures are record lows across the nation if you're thinking about hunting water don't just going to tell you right now if it's frozen and you have to wa walk across the ice to go get them don't don't hunt water don't get in a boat don't put your dog in the water there is no way that i would put frederick in the water right now it's only field hunting that's all we're going to be doing field hunting only uh i think it was back in what uh was january yeah we did a duck hunt out east because that's the only part that of kansas that was open for ducks at the time long story short we broke ice we made an ice hole and he performed amazing that was uh the silence 12 gauge hunt if you haven't seen that hunt go watch it after this one uh but he actually got i forget what it's called something tail what's it called kink tail or something tail where the base of their tail gets a big knot in it and it's because of the cold water and uh man he was in pain for a long time oh frederick look how chill he is he is just so chillaxed all the time he's ready to go though aren't you frederick he is but check this out uh-huh uh-huh the fireplace frederick the fire chair guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see uh with the guide service being shut down now it gives me a lot of free time to concentrate on the youtube channel and provide what you guys want to see so we're going to be doing more solo hunts we're going to be, be doing a lot of small hunts like i said but i want to provide uh videos where we're here where we're opening opening your guys's mail again my p.o box is always linked down in the description i love open your guys's mail uh at the end of the video so if there's something you want me to cover maybe it's shells and choke maybe it is just beginner tips maybe it's snow goose hunting tips maybe it's duck hunting public land tips let me know down in the comment section because i want to know the old flower chair the fire old frederick it's all just begging to be used subscribe if you haven't guys like i said the new snow camo hat patch hat from ducks is available i'll link it down in the description as well as all the white gear as well as this new white hoodie from ducks waterfowl as well all linked down below go check it out i i greatly appreciate your guys' support and uh again subscribe if you haven't but until next time